When making an investment decision, many people only consider their current financial situation. This is not enough, because both the money you earn and what you do with it vary throughout your life. Your decisions not only impact you today, but also for many years to come. Understanding which stage of life you're in, estimating your future financial needs, spending and saving your money wisely, that's what financial planning is all about. In our earlier podcast about investing and asset classes, you learned that every investment bears a certain level of risk. The most important question you should therefore ask yourself is, can I afford to lose some, or even the entire amount of the money I invest? To answer this question, you have to carefully analyze your personal and financial situation. In other words, you have to define your investor profile. Let's illustrate this with an example. Anne has a university degree and a full-time job, and she's recently received a small inheritance from her grandparents. She is single and unsure where she'll be in five years and when she might start a family. But she knows that one of her financial goals is to buy a house in approximately 10 years. She believes that over the years she will get ahead in her career and should expect to see her salary increase. She has a small student loan to pay back, but she can still save part of her monthly salary. Anne's investor profile reflects a young professional, and she is in the happy situation of having some extra money to invest. She has a 10-year investment horizon, is willing to take on some risks to reach her financial goals, and is less concerned about losses in the short term. Anne thus decides to invest 80% of her savings into a diversified investment fund that holds shares of several European and global companies with the expectation that the value of her investment in the fund will grow over the 10 years. And what about the remaining 20%? Anne invests this in government bonds with maturity of 5 to 10 years. This will provide her with some security over the investment and pay her regular interest income. Anne's investor profile as a young professional allows her to accept a moderate amount of risk to reach her financial goals. It is important to note that there is no guarantee that Anne will have the amount of money she expects when she reaches the end of her investment horizon. Finally, Anne, like most of us, is not a financial expert and probably needs the help of a financial advisor. An advisor helps you determine your investor profile, including your investment goals and time frame and your attitudes to risk. They also help you select what types of investments are appropriate for your investor profile and financial goals. Financial advisors can be in banks, brokerage firms, or in specialist fund distribution companies. Questions to consider when choosing a financial advisor include, is the financial advisor genuinely independent of any providers of financial products that could have influence on his advice? How long have they been working as a financial advisory? Do they give advice on all financial products or just a limited selection? How much do they charge? and how frequent are those charges. An advisor should ensure that the right decisions are made in your best interest.